What is up y'all, welcome back to the channel. Today, we are putting a big old wang on our 1990 Acura Integra, and you're gonna wanna stay tuned for this one. Woohoo! All right, so today we are replacing this pretty uh, well-used wing here, you know, Fast and the Furious Special. Uh, this is a 53-inch wing with this big old girl. Oh, shit. Don't do that. <laughs> this big old girl. Um, yeah, this is a 69-inch wing from NRG. This thing is the cat's ass. So we have you right here, and this is the guy she tells you not to worry about. Big difference there in size. I'm 5'10", and that thing is as tall, if not taller than me. You guys might have seen my blooper just a little bit ago. I did not break this arm off when I hit it on the wheel, so it's already holding up to the rigidity test. But I'm gonna show you guys what we've done so far. So I took the old wing off here. Um, I'm gonna have to do some touching up with some paint. That thing was on there. She was beating up this trunk lid pretty bad. Uh, one thing you can do to plug the holes, and I did it with uh, the factory wing that used to be on here, is that you take the little Christmas tree push pins that you use for like your door panels, that sort of thing, put a little dab of silicone around it, push it in, it'll seal it up real, real nicely. Uh, next thing, throw some tape down on where your wing mounts are gonna be roughly positioned. So now with a friend, what you'll wanna do Set the wing on there, take your measurements. Um, I'm probably gonna measure off like the corners and possibly off the holes that I already had just to make sure we have it uh, where we need it to be. The other thing is on this DA Integra, it's kind of hard to see, but the trunk lid actually like rises up and the plates that we have that are going on here are flat, they're not curved. So I'm gonna have to keep it as far back to this outside lip as possible to make sure that I'm not having to deal with a massive curve uh, in that plate, because I'm gonna have a huge gap underneath it. So, I don't know if you can see it on this angle, but definitely kicks up quite a bit on this side, and the plate ends like here, um, if I keep it all the way back. So, that's something to keep in mind uh, before you mount it down, depending on what trunk lid, whatever you have, make sure if you have a curve, you keep it to the flattest spot possible. All right, so I enlisted uh, the help of Cody here. Uh, we're gonna set it on there, I'm gonna take measurements, and then I'm gonna use my Sharpie to mark my hole locations. Then we can pull it back off and then drill our holes. Probably gonna be drilling, I would say quarter inch holes because I think we're gonna use quarter inch bolts. Could also use M6 bolts too because that's roughly the size of these holes that are um, pre-drilled into these plates also. All right, so we got her all uh, measured out. I'm going to mark these and then we'll drill some holes. And we got all our marks on each side as I just smashed my freaking shit into that stupid thing. As Cody eats his nachos. All right, and then grab yourself a very small drill bit, pray, and then start drilling. Oh yeah, oh yeah. So I got, I got all my holes already drilled here with a little bit. I just uh, stepped it up to the next size up. All right, so the bolts that it came with, I think are gonna work for my trunk setup. The only thing we're gonna do differently is we're gonna use some uh, nylock nuts instead of not using them. I don't like using um, lock washers, only unless I have to, I'd rather use a nylock nut. So I think that's the route we're gonna probably go um, with some decent sized washers on the bottom side. All right, so after we got the holes drilled, the next step was to uh, open up the um, framing underneath with a step bit so that way we could access those holes. So we did that, kind of see how those all lined up there. Pretty nice, so that worked out uh, well. I drilled just a small hole, pilot hole first with a regular drill bit. Then I went through this big old boy and I opened them holes up. Oh yeah, dirty. All right, so we're gonna throw some bolts in and get them snug down. There we go. Oh, heck yeah, boys and girls. We uh, got her bolted down. 
she's uh, looking pretty good. Um, the next thing what we did was we threw an angle gauge on here to kind of see where we're sitting. Uh, hard to kind of tell there, but we're sitting, if it would stop bouncing, about 10 degrees. So 10 degrees on this setup probably will deliver anywhere from, I would say 400 to 450 pounds of downforce at 100 miles an hour. So a lot. You will definitely want to pair this if you're going to run that much wing angle with a decent sized front splitter, depending on your car, probably anywhere from four to five inch splitter minimum if you're going to run that much. If you're really not going to run any front arrow, I would probably say, you know, adjust this one down here because you got multiple angles of adjustment there, as well as multiple holes up here, um, probably in the like two to three degrees. That'd probably still get you, you know, a couple hundred pounds of downforce, but uh, yeah, 10 degrees. And this thing isn't even maxed out. Like I could probably get another three to five degrees just on the top hole adjustment. And I might even be able to get more out of the bottom hole. So there is a ton of adjustment on this, which is very, very cool for the track. So all I got left now is, um, so I, got all the bolts and stuff in here is to put the uh, trim piece back on. Okay, so our last and final test, I just wanna kinda of show you guys, we're just gonna see what we have for deflection uh, with the trunk as far as like flexing. Cody's gonna pull down on it. I'll give you a couple different angles here and I'll try and hold as steady as I can. So let's see what we got. Pull it on, Cody. So we do have a little bit of deflection there. Let's see what we got down here. So yeah, the you can see the trunk is flexing in there. And this is a very stiff trunk for what it is um, because there's not a lot of material here and they have this heavy, thick glass. So most people's trunks are probably gonna flex even more than that. What I'm probably gonna end up doing is Professional Awesome makes um, splitter rods for front splitters. Um, you can use their splitter rod kit, mount it off the back bolt here and then down into the uh, vertical portion of the trunk and that'll help with with the deflection um, it's about 108 to 110 bucks i think i am very excited to show you guys soon our splitter kit that we are building it's right there don't want to don't want to show it yet but we needed something to match this crazy high level of downforce that we're going to be putting on i'm going to give you guys a few shots around the car so you can see just how big this thing is on this car and how badass it is so Check this shit out. And that is a wrap on the big Wang Thang 69, boys. Yeah, yeah. You know what's good? Hit that like, hit that subscribe. We'll see y'all on the next one. Woo!